Routers come in many shapes and sizes and one of the very few niggles I have about this incredible tool is the cable getting in the way. You not only have to ensure you have enough reach before making a pass, but often the cable gets trapped inside the straight fence. For years I've been wondering if a cordless router would emerge. And back in the 80s I used to use this tiny cordless Makita trimmer for insetting the name plaques on my furniture. It just didn't have the power to take anything more than a tiny straight cutter. But of course the argument is the battery would not supply enough power to be anything more than a trimmer. So I bought the only cordless router I believe is currently available and it's a Ryobi laminate trimmer. I like to designate my routers to specific tasks so I set this up with the Novolo cutter for softening the edges of my furniture. In this case I'm edge profiling a prototype plywood rocking chair and it seems to do it comfortably uh, and noisily as all routers are. The bearing guided cutters get over the lack of fence supplied with the tool. Now it seems to cope well with the 18 volt lithium battery which being placed on the router I do find makes it top heavy so you have to be very careful over the control of the tool and where you place your fingers. Worth mentioning I made the mistake of buying what I thought was a brand new battery from eBay and it came from China. It was clearly an old battery and pretty well bashed up but will cost as much to return so buyer beware. However this little router now becomes an addition to my range of Ryobi tools uh, called the OnePlus system so please check out my other short videos uh, on the other t cordless tools I have. Uh, for instance, this great little easy-to-carry mitosaur. Now I envisage using this router trimmer for delicate tasks including batten routing with narrow cutters and for inlaying. Well, the router is limited by only your imagination.